Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to do a video today. Uh, today is my injection day, so I figured I would make an injection video for people like me who absolutely cannot stand needles. I mean, phobia levels. It took, I mean, my first injection was probably, took me two hours to do, so, um, I kind of came up with my own method. I searched YouTube, and they've got the same old hold the skin tight and jab it in. And, you know, that works, too, if you don't fear needles like I do. So, without further ado, I will go through some of the basics and uh, go from there. So, first off, you want to make sure your hands are clean. Wash them right before you do it. Also, you need alcohol. This is 91%. The higher alcohol content, the better. You need two cotton balls. First, of course, you want to disinfect the top of your bottle by rubbing it with the alcohol cotton. And then you're done with that one. Don't use it again. Secondly, I usually use an 18 gauge needle to draw up, but this is a 23 gauge, my injection size, because I ran out of 18. So you want to have the correct amount that you're going to inject, fill it with air, put it into the bottle, push the air in, and draw the amount out. And this takes a little while with this tiny needle. I'll probably edit some of this out so you guys don't have to wait. I always draw out a little more so I can bump the bubbles out and have the correct amount still. There we go, that looks good. And you give it a little tap get all the bubbles worked up. This stuff's pretty thick, so it takes a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And since I drew it past the amount, push it back in. And there we go. So that's done. Now you want to make sure you pull the estrogen out of the needle because we are going to throw this one away because even just pushing through the rubber on the top of the bottle it can dull your needle so you want a sharp needle as sharp as possible so we'll put a new needle on and voila once again make sure the bubbles are out be very careful when you take the cap off. You don't want to ding the tip. And there you have it. We are ready for an injection. So, next up is to prep the area. So, I did my shot last time in my left leg. This time it's going to be in my right. So, I'll bring you guys down here. There you go. And we want to prep the area, and in case you didn't know, you want to section it off so you'll start at your knee, you go to your hip, and you want the middle section, and you want the top half. So, also another way is if you flex your leg muscle, you feel it on the top. You don't want the top muscle, you want the one right below it. So, you will get the cotton and soak it good in alcohol and you want to clean the area starting where you believe you'll be doing the injection and going in a circle and working your way outward all right then you want to let that dry takes a little bit it stops 
being cold, then it's dry. Now, mostly when uh, they say, you know, hold the skin tight like this and just poke it right in and you're done. Which, yeah, there isn't much pain doing it that way. And if you can do it that way, excellent. But I am not one of those people. So, I had to come up with my own way. In which I talked with my doctor. He says that's fine. So, you want to make sure that you also check with your doctor if you have any doubts. So, here we go. Here's where I vary a little bit. They always say to hold it tight. I do it opposite. I'll pinch it. Which actually pinches off the nerves in the area. And makes it so you can't feel the needle poke and instead of jabbing it in I'll slowly push it in and you'll feel it pop through the skin which is a freaky part for me but just keep applying a little more pressure a little more pressure and soon it'll just go right in I don't know how well you guys can see this but all right Keep pushing it in. And there we go. We're in. Once you're through the skin, you want to let go. So it's relaxed. In this part, I use both hands so the needle doesn't move other than straight down. And I push it in very slowly, which is how it differs from the standard way. I'll slowly push it in. And you might feel some resistance as you hit the edge of the muscle, but use the same same way you did before and just keep pressing a little more at a time. And by using both hands, it will wiggle and feel very, very weird. All right, all right, I'm in. Now, this is very important. You wanna do this every time. And this is a freaky part for me. They call it aspirating. You wanna hold it tight with your non-dominant hand. In my case, it's the left hand. And you wanna draw the plunger back, holding it as steady as possible. Make sure that no blood flows into the needle. If it does, you need to pull it out, put a new needle, and try again. I was good there, which I never actually have hit a vein, so. And slowly inject. And I'm sorry if you hear the train going by. I live by train tracks. Almost done. And we got it. Pull the needle out. Very easy to do. And there you go. Might want to rub it in a little bit, but try not to uh, go over to the injection site too much, as you could get an infection. But massage it in if you have to or feel you need to. Very little blood. But if you do have some blood, just uh, cover it up, put a band-aid on. But th that's my alternate method. So I hope that helps somebody out. Uh, like I said, huge fear needles here. So I had to find a different way. And on YouTube there wasn't much. So, hope that helps you out. Until the next video, I'll see you. And uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I would also like to welcome my new subscribers. Um, picked up quite a few f with my transition video, which if you haven't seen, take a peek. It's my in my videos, the one right before this one. So, uh, thanks YouTube. See you next time.